Let's take a look at how the new content management system works inside Studio. Once you're in the dashboard of your website, you can click on the new CMS tab here in the dashboard. And this is where you're going to have access to everything you need to create articles, portfolios, and things like that. Now within this main CMS dashboard interface, we have a few sections. First, we have the model list, and this is where we can find our articles, our writers, things like that. And we're going to talk about the different model types a little bit later. And after that, we have our collection list. And this is where we can manually create collections to feature on our website. And the main area in this interface is going to be our item list. So in this case, it's a list of articles. If we click on writers, our item lists are lists of writers. Now that you know what the model list, collection list, and item lists are, Let's break these down and first talk about items. In Studio CMS, the smallest unit of data is called an item. Each unit of every element, such as an article, a writer, or categories, these are items, and every item has a unique slug or a string that can be changed to any path. Now, a group of any one of these items is called a model. So if we click on the plus button next to model right here, we can see that we have four model types. We have a post type, a user type, a category type, and a custom type. The post type is a model type that you can use to create articles, to create portfolio items. If you want to feature your work in a portfolio, you would do that also using this post type. And then a user type could be anything from a writer of an article or a member of a team in your business, any type of user you want to feature. The category tag can be used to manage items of other models and classify them into specific categories. So for example, if you were building a portfolio, let's say for web design, app design, or software design, you can create these different categories to showcase the work in each category. And the last model type is a custom type. This is a model that can be used as tags or labels, and it has a lot of flexibility in grouping your items in different ways. So, for example, if you had a post type of different recipes, you can use the custom type to group recipes into, say, sweet or sour or different flavors, and you can use it in a variety of ways. Now that you have a better understanding of the CMS dashboard, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create your first article.